worship God. Worship God. With my whole heart. With my whole heart. All right, wait, there's nobody back there. Abby, got me. Three, two, one, hit it. <laughs> She's like, where is it? Worship. Wondering all alone, my heart was lost in need of a new direction. But love came and picked me up.
Today. With sheep? Yeah. All right. Real ones like the bad kind? Well, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, I hope so. That'd be fun. I mean, that would be kind of fun. I'd love to have some real sheep. I think it would smell ah. a little different in here if that would be. <laughs> all right. Let's pray. Jesus, we are so thankful that we can be together in your house. We're thankful for all our preschoolers that are here and Miss Sherry who's teaching them. We're thankful for all of our leaders and the time we get to spend together today. I pray that overall, God, we would learn and grow and to just knowing how much you love us and desire to have that relationship with us, God. I pray that we would grow in it through all the time we spend together. And all God's children said, Amen. 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 Uh, I love Pastor, it. Pastor Allison. What's up? Uh, I might need some batteries. Uh-oh. Preschoolers, you guys can line up. Preschool, line it up. Preschool. Yeah, come on, my friends. I absolutely love it. Oh, yeah. Kids Church, you guys can stand up and move Bye, preschool. in front of the green line. Thank you. <laughs> come oh, on. Yeah. Come Kids on Church, up. stand up. We're going to work on our memory verse. Kids Church, you got to come right in front of this green line right here. And Miss Daniel, our memory verse is the next slide over. It says memory verse oh, on oh, it. Hi, Quincy. That's it right there. Well, how's it going? Good. Hey. Oh, hi. Oh, How's I got something next? for you. Well, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, everybody. This is our memory verse. Um, for those of you who, who have not been here before, 
This is when we learn God's word, but we use motions to help memorize it because then it sticks in our brains a little bit better. So would you do this with me? Say, the Lord. Lord. Right here. Oh, my goodness. The Lord is faithful and will keep all his promises. Do pinky promise. Pinky promise. Mm -hmm. All his promises. He is loving toward everything. That includes you. He has made. Right? Now, we pronounce the P in psalm, and we do it like ninja pose. So make your ninja pose. Psalm! Ooh, nice ninja poses. And then like a football voice, we go, 145! Okay, and then it's like hike. Hike! Except for instead of, instead of hike, you say, 13! You got it? Psalm! 145! 13! Okay, ready from the top? Okay, now you're going to say it with me. You got this? With me? All right, here we go. Ready together. The Lord is faithful and will keep all his promises. He is loving toward everything he has made. Psalm 145, 13. Nice job. All right, ladies, you're on this side. Boys, you're on this side. Oh, yeah. Why, Lincoln? Well, well good morning, good. Lincoln. And I, I, think, I, I think that was Grant over there. And, uh, Grant? Uh, Wyatt's Alex. here. Yep. Well, hi. Did you say hi to all of them? How has your week been? Wow. Were you on vacation last week, too? Oh, yeah. You all, Oh, wow. Their school has started. Yeah? Yeah. So I've been, like, super duper duper busy. Oh. Well, you know, we had a big back-to-school bash here. You we did. were super duper duper busy. Oh, I can't believe mm -hmm. I missed it. We had inflatables. Yeah. We had pizza. And how many of you got a big old bag of candy from me? Yeah. Oh, well, I love pizza. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I love, love, love candy. Uh-huh. Alex? Like um, this candy right over here. Well, you can, I'm going to give that candy away later. I have a little competition. Mm -hmm. But before I do that, um, we've been doing slime time, right? Oh, oh, yeah. So I got some slime up here. Uh, I got some slime for small groups, but I told my leaders they could do a little bit of slime at the end of their lesson as long as the kids, like, you know, took some time to learn some stuff today. It's a little sticky. So I told the kids maybe I'd make some more slime to send home next week, right? A little less yeah. sticky, the kind you could take home. Okay, but I need somebody who brought their Bible to church today. And wouldn't mind actually reading from their Bible. Hmm? Okay, come on, lady. Let's go. Now, it's slime time, right? You like slime? Well, I love slime. Do you play with slime at home? Do you guys play with slime at home? Or is it banned from your house by now? No, it's not banned. Not yet? Okay, can I use your Bible? Okay. In here are the Bible verses we need for our story today. So roll up those sleeves, because I'm going to have you find the verses, and we'll put them in order, and then I'm going to have you create a few things, okay? Okay. You got it? Okay, find them. There's four well, of them I guess them I should there. bring my Bible next week. Yeah, you should bring your Bible, you know. One, it's a good marble jar, marble thing. Two, um, you know, you get to use it. And, it, oh, did you guys hear that? Ooh, it sounds like you're farting over here. <laughs> we like We like fart jokes. Yes, let's see. Um, 25, 25. Ooh, you, she's good at making fart noises with slime. Do you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, keep making well, some fart noises. What, what do you guys think? Yeah. You, guys think you, guys, you guys can make a better fart sound? Yeah. You just play <laughs> it for a second because... Can you guys hear it? Listen. Okay, make fart noises. They want to hear it. <laughs> You're good at making fart noises in the slime. That's good. Okay. Um, wow. Merk. Merk. Brody. Uh, you know what? When is, have you seen Merck recently? Oh, uh, yes, actually. Um, you know, he, he, he was doing school stuff and he had to get everything in order because he's been gone all summer. Yeah, I can't wait to hear about his So he, he should be back here. I think he said in like a couple weeks he'll be back. Oh, okay. I'm going to hold you to that, Brody. I'll double check in with him. I got it on my hand fingers too. <laughs> Are you slimy yet? Yeah. You're a little bit slimy. Um, do you want to read the first one though? Okay, you're going to find Genesis 25. It's the very first book in your Bible, so go ahead. I'm going to get from them before we read. 
Um, do you guys remember who we were talking about last week? Who knows? Raise your hand because I can't hear you if everybody else. Who were we talking about? Who? Abraham and his son Isaac. Yeah, his son Isaac. Last week we were talking about, and Isaac was just a Ooh, little. I hear child. someone singing the song. Oh, Father Abraham mm-hmm. and many sons. Yeah, and many, and many sons. sons. And and Father Abraham. Abraham. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Are you one of them? So are you? I am. Well, me too. Okay. <laughs> hold on, honey. Hold on. She's looking. It's the very first book of the Bible. So it's the very, 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 very beginning right here. This is Genesis. And then you're going to find a 25. Because we're talking about Abraham, Isaac. Last week, Isaac was little, and it was the weirdest story. Remember, we're doing like gooey, gooey stories from the Bible. The ones that like don't always make sense until we talk about them. And we talked last week about how God had like asked Abraham... Right, he told him Whoa. to sacrifice him on an altar. That makes no sense. But God had a better plan, didn't he? We learned about that last week. Ladies, you can't sit by each other, though, if that's going to be a problem. You got it? You got it under control? Okay. Because today we're talking about Isaac, who's an adult. He's older. Are you older than a baby? Yeah. Are you old enough to be married? No. I'm teasing. No, you're I not. I think so. <laughs> well, then Isaac was probably older than you at this point, right? Yeah. Okay, probably. Because he's old enough to be married. So he's like, as old as you. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, read. Let's see. I think it's 21. Oh, there you go. Right here. Okay. Okay. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Well, I started. thought you said 25. What? I'm so confused. Uh-huh. Oh, except for we, oh, in our last chapter, we actually talked about, do you know who Isaac actually gets married? He does get married. He gets married to this gal named Rebecca. Can I tell you something really awesome about Isaac and Rebecca and Abraham and Sarah? Well, both of them couldn't have babies. Remember, Abraham, they were over 100 years old when Sarah had Isaac. Oh, yeah, because God old. promised him a baby. Right. Well, now we're talking about Isaac and his wife, Rebecca. Guess what? Can't have a baby. A baby. She can't have a baby. So here we go. This is where we pick up. So this is what happens right here. Go ahead and read that to us. Wait, I might need to give you a microphone. Because our, our online friends can't hear you. I'm stealing. I'm stealing. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Read it loud. loud. Isaac pled with the Lord on behalf of his wife because she was unable to, to have children. The uh-huh. Lord answered Isaac prays and Rebecca b- became pregnant with twins. Oh, one more, one more. Oh. But, but I like this is my favorite verse, so don't miss it. But the two children struggled with each other in her womb. She went to ask the Lord about it. Why is this happening to me, she asked. <laughs> can I tell you what our lesson is about today? You can throw it up there. It says, it's not fair. Have you ever said, it's not fair? Have you ever said that? It's not fair? Okay, okay. Here's Rebecca. She finally gets pregnant because his, you know, Isaac prays for Rebecca, and Rebecca finally gets pregnant. And then she's like, the babies are battling in her belly. And she's like, why is this happening to me? She's saying, that's not fair. It took me forever to get pregnant, and now my babies are battling. Okay, wait, hold on. Do you ever fight with your, do you have a sibling? Do you, seven siblings? There's got to be a lot of fighting that happens at your house. No? Yeah, a little bit? Okay. Do you guys have siblings? Raise your hand if you have a sibling. Me. Do you have a sibling? Yeah. Are you the oldest? Well, yeah. Well, we're kind of like the same age, though. You know, remember my twin, Cody? Who was born first? Well, me. Okay. Well, then you're just like the story today because... um. She had two babies in her belly, and they were fighting in her belly. As a matter of fact, there was a prophet that came to tell them that they were going to be warring against each other as adults their whole lives. Starting in her belly, the prophet said, what? They're going to be warring. As a matter of fact, the prophet also said that the younger, oh no, sorry, the older would serve the younger. Raise your hand if you're the oldest sibling. Me. Can you imagine if your younger sibling was in charge? No way. Okay, do you have a sibling younger than you? Yep. Do you have someone younger than you? Can you imagine if they were in charge? 
If they got to tell you what to do. We can't roll it because the oldest is too low. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> Isaac and, so it was, it was actually Jacob and Esau are the twins that were born. And they were just born when they found this out. So they were young, okay. But what they found out is that Jacob, who was born second, that doesn't seem fair, does it? They were twins, for crying out loud. Jacob was literally born probably seconds after Jacob. You know how I know uh, uh, Esau? You know how I know that? Because the Bible said that Jacob was holding on to Esau's ankle. So he literally came flying out right after Esau. And yet, Esau's considered the firstborn. And back then, the firstborn gets all the blessing. They're the ones that get to be in charge. They're the ones that get to do all the cool stuff. They're the ones that get to, like, you know, get all the cool inheritance and the big, you know. Back then, the dads would make this, like, really awesome blessing over their sons, especially their oldest. And, 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 and that's actually the blessing, like, would be a part of their life forever. And yet the prophet was saying that Esau was going to have to serve Jacob. Do you ever say that's not fair? Okay, how many times a day do you say it's not fair? More than that. At least, Max, as a matter of fact, every Wednesday night, you always say during the game, almost every Wednesday night, you yell, uh huh, almost every week, you yell, it's not fair. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, do you think you can take this slime and make two babies? Jacob and Esau, go ahead, make two babies right there. Pop them out, yep. Jacob and Esau are twins, and, and yet Esau was born first, so he gets all the cool stuff. But there was some, you know, prophecy that said Esau was going to have to serve Jacob, and he probably thought. Yeah, every time I point to that, you can yell, that's not fair. Like, yell it. Okay, I think even our live stream heard you on that one. Yeah, it's true. How many times do you say that today? I feel like Esau is going to say that a lot because we have four parts of our scripture today, and in every part, I think Esau is going to say, That's not fair. <laughs> Nice job. Um, <clears throat> you didn't say it. Well, I thought they were loud enough for the both of us. <laughs> okay. But do you ever say it's not fair? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. That's what they're going to talk about in their small groups. We got some two babies here. That's good. Okay, let me look at verse 29 here. Because actually the next part of our story comes in verse 29. And it says this. Oh, are you ready for this? This is really interesting. The Bible actually says one day Jacob was cooking some stew. Here, can I tell you something about Jacob and Esau? Okay. Jacob was like, the little guy, the puny brother, the smaller brother, the tinier brother, okay? As a matter of fact, he didn't have very much hair on him. It's just probably normal. But Esau was like the big, burly brother, like the Billy Goat Gruff almost, like, woof. He was the hunter. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> nice. And he had a lot of hair on his arms. It's about like this. His arms were like this. I know, right? Okay. That would be super, super hairy. <laughs> I will tell you, the brothers were... Okay, are you different from your sibling? Like, yeah. one of you likes to play outside and the other one likes to read books. What were you going to say, Brody? Do you have, are you different from your sibling? Well, I was going to say we're twins and not really. Are you guys a lot the same or a lot different? Well, we, we look the same, but we um, act different. Like you like surfing and he likes? He likes to play video games. Okay. All right. Well, Jacob was like the video game brother and Esau was like the Brody brother. Oh. Okay. Okay. Extra hairy. <laughs> but he was the hunter. He went out to do all the hunting and he comes back from hunting one day and here Jacob is. Okay. You can make, he's a hunter, so make a bow and arrow. That's what you can make next. There you go. Okay. He's a hunter. He's out doing his hunting thing. Okay. He comes back and he smells the stew that Jacob is cooking and it smells so good and he's really hungry and he says, Jacob, give me some of your stew. Okay, can I tell you something else about Jacob? He's super crafty. Jacob is super, I don't know. <clears throat> he actually did this. He said, well, give me your birthright and I'll give you some of my stew. What? Birthright. 
birthright. That means all the privileges that the firstborn gets. He's like, I'll give you some stew if you give me your birthright. Ooh, There's no way he fell for that. So sneaky. right? Well, here's what happened. Can I tell you what happened? He actually did. He gave him the birthright. You know what? what? Yeah. Not the smartest move, right? No. Well, I don't think that um, God makes dumb. And so I don't think that Esau was necessarily dumb, but he made, definitely made a really silly decision because he said, okay, he's like, what good is my birthright if I die because of starvation? Do you really think he was that hungry he was going to die of starvation? Yeah. How many times have you said, I'm so hungry I could eat a cow or a horse? Well, my mommy well especially if he was hunting, he already clearly had food. Well, maybe he didn't catch anything that day. Um, I don't know. He should go hunting more. If Let's say he did catch something. Do you just eat it? Ew. Ew. Yeah. Yeah, you got to prepare it. But he was so hungry, he was willing to give up his birthright. Have you ever been so hungry you made a dumb decision? Yeah. Have you ever been hangry? Yeah. Have you ever heard of hangry? It's when you get angry because you're hungry. Okay. Well, that's how Esau was. And he totally gave Jacob his birthright. But he's like, it's okay, I still have the blessing. Okay, two things. Back then, the birthright was like the right you had as the firstborn to get all the privileges and all the blessing and all that kind of stuff, right? Okay, well, the other thing you got when your dad was like, you know, getting older is you got the, bir- you got the blessing, right? So he's like, it's okay, you can have the birthright, I'll take the blessing. You know, we are twins, okay, whatever. I just want some stew, give me some stew. So he got some stew, <gasps> right? Yeah. Okay, can I tell you how sneaky and crafty Jacob is? That's what's next on, next on our list. Do you think you can make... Oh, wait, I meant to have you make a bowl of soup. But that's okay, you just made the bow and arrow, and that was next. Whoops, sorry. My fault. I got them backwards. All right, so here we are in Genesis 27. It says this. One day when Isaac was old... Um, Isaac? Isaac is the dad, and he got really old. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that happens, you know, years go by and you get old. Okay, it says he was old. It says he was so old that his eyes were weak and turning blind. So he couldn't see very well. So he calls his son Esau and he's like, I'm probably not going to live a lot longer. It's time for me to give you the blessing. But would you first use your bow and arrow? Nice job. I want to show the kids your bow and arrow. Um, He says, would you use your bow and arrow? Go out there, hunt for some game. And um, bring it back, prepare it. We'll have this nice meal together, and then I'll give you the blessing. Ready? i got to show everybody. Look at that bow an arrow. See, look at it. It's possible. It's possible, isn't it? You guys say you can't make stuff with slime. Mm-hmm. I got you. Okay, there you go. Um, but anyway, so there goes Esau. He goes out with his bow and arrow, and he's going to go hunt for... Wild game, he's going to bring it back, have a celebration with his dad, they're going to have a great time, he's going to get the blessing, right? Except, not only was Jacob crafty, guess who else was crafty? His mom. Does anybody know his mom's name? Uh, Rebecca. Yeah. Can I tell you something about Rebecca? Yeah. She's like sneaky. Because guess who was her favorite? Jacob. Jacob. You know why Jacob was her favorite? Because he liked to hang out around the house. You know, he had smooth skin, the Bible says. Smooth like a baby's butt. Yep, <laughs> kind of like that. I don't know if that's why she liked it better, but she, he hung out around the house more. He liked farmed land. You know, she probably appreciated all the vegetables he grew, that kind of stuff. But he stayed closer to home, so she kind of liked him better. And, and, well, she also knew about the prophecy that Esau was going to end up serving Jacob, so she's like, I bet I can help with that. So she tells Jacob to convince the dad to give him the blessing or convince dad that he's actually Esau to get the blessing. Okay, wait, hold on. Do you have a younger brother? Yeah. Oh, but three months old, right? When they're seven, you kind of lose track. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, can you make, can you sound like your brother? Say it's not fair like your brother. I don't care. Any one of them, go for it. Sound like your brother. And say it's not Exactly. Yep. See. Yeah. Like you gotta like stomp your foot. Mwah, mwah, that's not fair. That was good. Oh, thanks. Is that how your brother does it? Yeah. Okay. You guys have younger siblings. Can you say that's not fair like your younger sibling? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Do you think that Esau felt that way after Jacob said, "Give me my birthright." Give me the birthright. I'll give you stew. That's not really that yeah, fair. Yeah, but I mean, I a birthright like is a big his deal. would be like, 
less babyish and like more like. Oh, <laughs> Nice job. Thanks. Yeah, that's exactly what it was like. Well, can I tell you, while Esau was off, the mom says, convince dad that you're Esau and get the blessing too. He's like, how can I do that? My smooth skin. Well, dad will surely know. Even though he can't see very well, he could feel my skin and know that I'm not my brother. So you know what she did? She's like, that's okay. Go get a goat. Can you make a goat? Ma. Can I make a goat next? Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, a, a sheep says, ba. A goat says, ma. ma. You got it? Okay. So she said, go get a goat. Put the skin of the goat on your arm so your dad thinks that you're Esau. And Ew. go get the birthright. He, Jacob, tricked his dad. Brought in some stew that has some probably old game meat in it. Because, you know, he's supposed to make a, you know, whatever. And um, brought it to his dad. And he says, I'm back. Here, I've prepared this stew. And give me your blessing. And he's like, are you really? Esau. And he's like, yes, I'm Esau. He tried to be like, yeah, yeah, I'm Esau. You try, you, right? Yeah. Okay. He had to sound like his brother. He had to feel like his brother. And his dad actually believed it and gave him the blessing. And then Esau shows up from hunting. Think about it. He's been hunting. He's got his wild game. He's coming back. He's going to prepare it. And then he learns that his brother just got the blessing too. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I think he probably felt very much like that because that was sneaky and that was tricky, wasn't it? Did you make me a, a goat? That's pretty. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Is this yours too? You want it back? Okay, <laughs> there's a little piece of I'll show you the goat. Yeah, it's a pretty good goat. I'll show you that because um, I'm actually impressed. If you, guys, if you guys have time in your small groups today, uh, you can make some stuff. I got to turn it this way because, you know, look at that goat. That's pretty good. Nice job. Way to go, my friend. Way to go. Um, but you guys get the idea, don't you? Probably didn't seem very fair, did it? Nope. And Esau was so mad. Can I tell you how mad he was? Esau was so mad that he wanted to kill his brother Jacob. Whoa. That's how mad he was. That's a lot of anger. So Jacob had to leave his home where he lived. He had to leave his mom, who he loved, obviously. And he left for far away with his uncle Laban to live so that he wouldn't die by his brother being so mad. Can I tell you something? Was it worth it? No, he even had to leave. All right. And one more thing that I had in my mind. Do you think God could have done what he had planned with Jacob? Without all this mess? Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, do you think it would have been a better blessing for Jacob had he just trusted God? Yeah. Absolutely. Would you give my friend a hand? She did some awesome things. You can have a seat, my friend. You can nice only take job. it all with you. Thank you. Yep. She did awesome. That was cool. She made some cool stuff up here. Yep. We actually have more slime because, you know, it is slime time. Uh, but when you do your small groups today, you'll do a couple activities first. And then your leaders can tell you if there's time for slime. But I really hope so. Uh, I do have one more activity. Remember I told you that I was going to do a competition? Oh, that yeah. means... So, so the candy's all mine. Well, are you going to be in the competition? Ooh, can I? Yeah. Yeah. All right. But I do need one other person to compete against. Brody. Whoa, pick somebody good for some candy. Mm, somebody who is smarter than Brody. Because these uh, are questions. Well, yeah. I don't know about that. Well, I'm pretty smart. Okay, last service, I'm trying to remember. Oh, I had a lady help me, so I'm going to pick one of my gentlemen today. Mm, 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 mm. Antonio, come on up here, buddy. All right, Antonio, uh, what do you think the prize should be today? Which one of these candies should the prize be? Sweetest oh, fish. All right, I'm going to put this right you here. You can just leave those right over here. I'm going to put it right here. And Brody, I'm oh, sorry, Brody's going to be there. Antonio, you come on this side over here. I'm going to ask a series of questions for contestant number one. Yeah. And contestant number two. All right, are you ready? Ready. You got your thinking cap on. Mm -hmm. All right. Question for contestant number one. Oh, I have to go give a secret to my, my person back here. There's a okay. little 
there's a little TikToker back here. I got to go back and tell him a little secret first, and then, and then we can get started. Can I tell you guys a secret? You guys ready? <laughs> okay, I got one more. <laughs> wow, that was, that was pretty impressive. <laughs> okay, Brody, never a dull moment with you. Are you ready? Question number one. Okay, question number uh, one. What is the average distance from the Earth to the Sun in kilometers? What kind of question is that? Uh, 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 <laughs> I wasn't ready. Uh, 174 the mi the million. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, you get a different question. It's actually 149.6 million kilometers. Okay, Whoa. now you know a fun fact. Okay, but you don't get any points. I'm sorry. No. Uh, it's okay. You have two more questions to okay, try. Okay, okay, okay. This is your question. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Which is hotter, the sun or an ice cube? Sun. Nice job. What? What kind of question is that? <laughs> Hold on a minute. I don't think this seems very fair here. Hold up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give okay. me another question. Okay, next question. Next question. Are you ready for this one? Uh-huh. How many rooms are there in Buckingham Palace? What the... Ba, da, da, da. A thousand, a thousand. <laughs> I don't know. Where is the Buckingham Palace at? <laughs> All right. Well, there are 775. Fun fact. Whoa. 775 rooms in Buckingham Palace. Uh, but I'm sorry that I cannot award you any points for that. Whoa. Are you ready for your question? Yeah. You better give him a trick question. How many fingers am I holding up? Two. What? Nice job. What? You're doing really well in this game. So hold far. Hold up, hold up. I'm moving this closer. closer. No. I don't think this is very fair. Okay, how about if I make this last question worth double points? So I can win? Possibly. Okay. Are you ready? I got this. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck chuck wood if a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Yeah. How much? Yeah. How much? Well, you missed the timer. Wow. Can I tell you? There's well, actually right. there's a real answer. Fun oh. fact: a woodchuck can chuck 361.9 cubic centimeters per day. No way. Yep. Woodchucks aren't even real. Yeah, they are. What? What? Okay, you haven't earned any points yet, but I have to make sure that Antonio can answer this question in order to win the prize, okay? Oh, well, does that mean I win if he does it? We'll see. Okay. Question. Do you like woodchucks? Yes. Oh, alive! Do a little dance. What is this? This is rigged. <laughs> Would you say it's not fair? Yes. Would you guys Go think it's not Google. fair? Yeah. What? It's fair. It's completely fair. Antonio, do you feel like it was all fair and okay? Uh, no, I think it was a little bit unfair. Oh, yeah, he admits it was a little unfair. I mean, I'm impressed that you admit it was kind of unfair because you still get the candy. What? Yeah. You don't think you earned it? I think I should share some, share some of the other contestants. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, how about if I give Brody some of these right here? Okay. Whoa, thanks. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. <laughs> for having a good attitude, Brody, you can... You well, can. I'll save it for later. Okay. All right. Give our friend a fan. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. But you guys get the idea, don't you? Here's my question. Are there going to be times in our lives that things just don't seem fair? I mean, our yeah. whole lesson today was on sometimes it's not fair. As a matter of fact, I'm assured that there are plenty of times every single day that we might say it's not fair. You know what I tell my kids when they say, it's not fair? You know what I tell them? I say, I never promised fair. As a matter of fact, you know what the Bible doesn't promise? The Bible doesn't promise fair. Can I tell you what the Bible does tell us? Go ahead and put our verse up there. If you can read, would you read this verse with me? It says this. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. 
They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. They are plans for what? Good. Good. Here's the thing. There's going to be lots of times in our lives when things don't seem fair, right? Yeah. But you know what we're called to do as believers in Christ? Two things. This to is what I want you to hear. love? Wait, hold on. I need their eyes right here. Antonio? Lincoln? We need all the eyeballs. Eyeballs right here. I need your eyeballs, ladies. Because if you, I want to make sure you hear this one piece. Because in your life, God did not promise that things would be fair. He didn't promise that. But he did promise that his plans for you are good. good. But do you know what we're called to do? Love? Oh, I thought it was on here. Whoops, it's not on her. Ah, ah, I have the wrong verse. Okay. The, the <laughs> what God calls us to do is to trust him. Say trust. Trust. Trust him. And the other thing he calls us to do is to still love others, even when it's not fair. How do you show love even when it's not fair? Uh, Boys. By being kind? By being kind. How else? By not getting angry. Think about this for a minute. When you think something's not fair, do you get angry? You get upset? Yeah. Does it ever go well? No. no. That's what we can do. Instead of getting angry and upset and responding with anger, kind of like Esau did, right? Esau was so mad he wanted to kill his brother. God says, don't let that happen to you. Instead, trust God that he has a plan for you that is good, even if it doesn't seem fair. fair. I tell my kids all the time, we love even when it's hard, right? Yeah. We take care of people and we show kindness to them because I'll tell you something, you'll find so much more joy. Say joy. Joy. You'll find so much more joy when you choose not to be bitter and angry, because who suffers the most when you're bitter and angry? Myself. You do. you do. So if you get bitter and angry about something not being fair, you're the one who's suffering. But if you choose instead to show a kindness that shows Jesus to somebody else, you know, you can sing a song for that. What's that? You go, you got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Where? T- down in my heart. Tuesday. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> Awesome. I'm going to pray for us because our kids actually have some really cool stuff they can do in their small groups. I want to make sure they have time for that um, because you actually are going to talk about lots of situations that seem unfair, like when your sibling breaks your toy or money gets stolen or that kind of stuff seems unfair, right? So we're going to talk about that. All right, let me pray for us. Jesus, we are thankful for what your word teaches us. We're thankful for this message we can learn about. Uh, And God, I pray that as we gather together in our small groups, we'll be able to have great conversation around how we can handle situations when things are hard and when they seem unfair, that God, you can be the one we come to to trust that you can turn things around for good. We love you, Jesus, and we trust you in it. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Would you guys wave at live stream and say bye? Bye. Bye. See you later.